in the dark blue. Touch of gloves and we're underway. And you can immediately see the kind of karate style footwork from Connor, just bouncing very light on his toes. More of a traditional Dutch kickboxing style from Gerardo. He's like always there, but he's hesitant. Lovely. Wait for him to come in. Wait for him to come in and let that over and go. Yeah. Wait for him to come in, Ignat. Connor Martin in the corner of uh, Connor Hignett there, who's the, the son of Sean Martin, who's the head coach at Hammer. And one thing he certainly picked up from his uh, from his old man is the voice. You can always hear him in the corner. Nice straight right from Funny there. It's going to be interesting to see how Hignett approaches this one. Does he look to not replicate the game plan of Jack Cartwright, but does he look for an early takedown here? Took a nice straight left hand there from the southpaw. And this is what Connor's good at doing. He can cover the distance and get those shots off. And that's something that we're used to seeing from these fighters who bring that karate style movement in. Sliding in and out. Big leg kick. Hickner catches it. Puts his man down. But as we know, Gerardo likes the leg locks. So does Hickner. Yeah, straight away looking to tie one of those legs. But you know, I think you said that Hickner has a standing heel hook victory. You don't see that very often. So. Both of these guys are pretty versed in this position, tying up the head and arm here. Fun headlock attempt there and elbow out the clinch. And immediately see Kick Hedrick going back to that low, slow stance, using his movement to keep his head out of danger rather than the high guard. Gerardo Fanny came very close with that hook. He's going to have to be careful. Yeah, lovely, we've got him, we've got him against the cage! This is well. easy for you, Connor. What's that? Nice leg there from the Dutchman. Look at all Yes, lovely, Ignat. Yes, lovely! Ignat looking to just time his man on the way in here. And again, that's something yes! we used to see from Karate Stylus. The like really good on the counter. Nice body kick from Hignett. Funny looking non plus though. Let it go, Ignat, let it go. In the corner of Conor Hignett really imploring their man to start letting go now. They, they think he's found his range here. And if my Dutch is holding up the corner of Gerardo, we're saying that they're happy for their man to just wait for the opportunities here. Yeah, he's looking very patient. Oh, again, Hignett trying with the right hand and just falling short. Gerardo jabbing to the body there. Oh, nice combination from Hignett. Hignett's calling, asking for the head kick there, but... Angles, angles, angles. You don't want to give up a ground position against someone like Gerardo because he has switched guys off with ground and pound before. Nice there from Higdon off the ca catch of the kick, but the Dutchman straight back to his feet and I think he got caught low there. Yeah, something we saw in that earlier ground exchange. Very, very good at getting back to his feet is Fane. Oh, Gerardo having to, uh, to readjust the cup here. And the referee's called time. And I think he was initially okay from the actual groin strike, but he needs to uh, to get the cut back in place before he can continue. And referee Rich Mitchell warning him there. 
do not call your own timeout. Hickner would have been well within his rights. He just blitz his man there, as he's doing now. Great sportsmanship, really, from Hickner there, because some people would have just piled in. Yeah, at least he waited too afterwards to pile in. The old uh, pub car park punch, as they say. Very, very nice clinch yeah, position yeah, here and finishing off the round in a top position and even with a little bit of ground and pound. Yeah, good work to put an exclamation mark on that round from Connor Hignett. And that's a strong, strong round for the man from Hammer. Yeah, super aggressive, super intense the entire time. You've got to wonder if he can maintain that level of intensity and aggression and pace for uh, the next couple of rounds if it does go that long. Oh, he's seen him pull off some crazy comebacks before. But let's take a look at some of the action here. Beautiful standing side kick. We talk about that karate style and then another one to the knee. Beautiful stuff from Hignett. Catches the kick of Gerardo there and tips his man down. Kicks to the body there and we're going to see another kick catch here. And there's the takedown down. And a beautiful flurry here just after that brief restart. Second round underway, touch of the gloves. And Higgins looking to pick up right where he started, right where he left, brother. But also where he started. <laughs> looking exactly like he did at the beginning of the first round. Gotta be careful with the counter shot from Gerardo here. Funny looking, re-energized at the start of this second round. Yeah, looking more aggressive than he has so far in this fight. Well, he's around down here, so he's got to start picking it up now. He's not checking for That job is there, champ. Angle, angle, angle. He's still taking them angles, isn't it? Hand up, right hand up. Take that knee. Yeah. Interesting there, the corner asking Hignett to keep his right hand up now there. Perhaps spotted something. Hignett normally keeps his hands low slung, but the corner asking for a bit of a higher guard in this second round. And Gerard is certainly looking more energized at the start of this second round down, more confident. Nice knees to the body there from the Dutchman. Yeah, very often it can take an entire round. Oh, a huge left hand. Get them fucking hands up. Oh, they're in a firefight now. I apologize for the language there from the corner, but tense moments here in London. Big knees for Gerardo. Hignett scrambling on a takedown here, but he's taking shots. Nice switch to a double leg, see if he can uh, control his man here and slow the pace down a little bit. You know, like I was saying before, sometimes it can take a round for you to really, you, you know, loosen up and actually get your energy. Oh, and there's a nice left hand from Hignan on the break. We're having a little bit of damage now from those shots from the Dutchman. Great work to dip under from Gerardo there. Hignan. Looking for the takedown here, though, Dan. Yeah, we're seeing this really aggressive attempt to, to get back to standing position from his opponent, but a strong clinch. And you see how he's, he's moving towards the fence. He's going to use that fence there. As soon as he touches that fence, he's going to turn around to face his opponent, get to a position where, you know, it's so difficult to take someone down when they've got their back against the fence because it's like, you know, what you're taking them down into. You've got to pull them away, just like we're seeing Hignett do. You've got to pull them off if you want to take them backwards. So. You know, good work, fight IQ from uh, from Fanny to try and get himself to the fence there. Yeah, the Conor Hignett's gum shield's come out here. The referee's just collected it, so going to wait for an opportune moment to uh, pause the action to put that back in. But obviously, there's a bit of a tussle going on here at Cage side, so that's going to have to wait for a moment. Yeah, nice pummeling from Gerardo to get double underhooks for a second there. Hignett's still really insistent on this takedown. He manages to get the trip, but... You know, Gerardo's so close to the fence still, it's, it's, it's just because your back hits the ground for a second, it's very much far from over when it comes to dominating on the ground. That's much better. He's further away from the fence now. Watch as he scrambles back to his feet and then tries to get closer to the fence to use it to his advantage once again. Funny trying to strip the hands there and Hignett breaks away. 
And that's exactly what you want to do. That that's the way to escape these clinching positions is to actually try and fight those hand positions, open the grip and then move out. And it's the Dutchman walking Hegnet down now. Oh, steps in with the elbow. Oh, in the corner, loving this from Funny. Great shots on the inside. Oh, big knee in the clinch. Gerardo Funny turning up the tempo here in the second round. Hignett again trying for a takedown, but he's going to get reversed. Oh, that's an illegal knee. And it was that was a flush one as that well. Was, that was flush. That was a huge error of judgment there. I'm, I'm obviously not saying it's a deliberate foul, but it is a huge error of judgment. And you have to be able to make those judgment calls as a professional fighter. An errant knee thrown there to a downed opponent. Yeah, what a shame. You know, he was looking so good in this round. You know, at the very best here, realistically, we're going to see a point taken away, which is really going to change the dynamics of this fight. You know, at the worst, it could be something, um, you know, something that no one wants to see here. That was a very clean strike, and there was no, you know, it was not, not ambiguous in any way. Both knees were on the ground. He was absolutely downed. Um, you, you have to be careful with this. Yeah, let's take another look here. And, and I think Gerardo just let the moment get away from him there. You know, he was having so much success in the standing clinch position with those knees, and Hignett shot a takedown. Fennig was in a really strong position to defend against that takedown, and I think he just saw the opportunity. He opened up that clinch position, but Hignett was on his, both of his knees. He saw that opportunity, and he threw that knee, but really, you know, nothing short of disastrous for him. Yeah, Dutchman's corner here with just a head in their hands and really well, not looking particularly impressed by the situation. You know, we've seen a lot of uh, this situation recently in uh, at the highest level. We know what this could mean, you know, if Hignett doesn't decide that he can continue at this point, then very that's, likely that's this a could disqualification. be a, yeah, it's a disqualification. You, you can't call that an accidental foul. It's not to say that the fighter had you know, ill intentions towards him, but it's, it's an illegal blow and there's, there's, there's no question about it. That's, that's going to be a disqualification if Hignett can't continue. Um, difficult to see what's going on here. Obviously, the, the concussion pro protocol has to take place now. Should Hignett pass that? Should he want to continue? The fight will continue, and it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. And the round of applause here in York Hall being led by Gerardo Funny's corner. Yeah, and well deserved as well. It's a one point deduction. And that really is him getting off lightly. Yeah, we've seen two point deductions for uh, seriously intentional fouls. And, but I don't think that's what that was. It was just the moment getting away from him. Hignett coming out. Oh, with a head kick, goes low twice, then goes high. Hignett's obviously had a moment to gather his thoughts here, and he's coming out with renewed vigor. Gerardo, though, looking to get straight back to work as well. A fair play for Hignett for continuing. Oh, and it's over! Unbelievable! Wow. Well, there was nothing serious about that one. Gerardo, funny, with the flying knee knockout of Connor Hignett, and Hignett is out cold here. Gerardo showing respect here. And our medical teams just tend to Conor Hignett. Let's take a look at the replay here as Gerardo Funny celebrates in the cage. And he's chasing his man down. A wild exchange. Caught him with the right hand there. Staggered him. Jumped him with the flying knee. Yeah, he was already hurt there with this exchange and then the timing on this as he moved forward for a takedown, just perfectly hit and completely out cold. Yeah, they, they don't come much cleaner than that. And, and Dan, that's what we talked about in terms of Gerardo Fanny not being able to show what he could do against Jack Cartwright, but he has got that switch off power, whether it's in his hands or his knees. And 
medical team still tending to Connor Hignan at cage side here. I believe he is conscious, but just not ready to uh, sit or stand up yet. We'll keep you updated on his condition here. And uh, right in front of us at the commentary booth, Gerardo Fanny speaking to his team, and I think that they were discussing the um, the, the earlier illegal knee that happened, and Gerardo Fanny saying that he, he thought Connor just would, had lifted his hand off the ground. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's what he was saying. Connor Hignett is sitting up now. He's awake, folks, just being consoled by his corner and, and still has, of course, the medical team around him. Obviously, you never like to see these kind of situations, but it, it does look like Connor's going to be OK. And perhaps the pride wounded a little bit more than the body on this occasion, thankfully. And Conor Hignett back to his feet to a round of applause from those in attendance here at the York Hall. A devastating loss for the 25-year-old, but if there's one thing we know about Conor Hignett, it's that he'll be back and he'll be better than ever. Always constantly improving at just 25 years of age. We'll have another decade in the sport, and he's already had one. Well, let's talk about Gerardo Funny here. What a performance from the Dutchman. Gets his first win on Cage Warriors. Let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin. He'll make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, calls a stop to this contest after four minutes and 33 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the blue corner, Gerardo Funny. Gerardo Funny. Second appearance on Cage Warriors, first win, and what a win it was. An epic.